I started Adobe Wine Company back in 2016 in Seattle. I grew up here in Orcas Island, so I was born and raised out in Doe Bay, um, was homeschooled, uh, went to the University of Washington, studied political science, and then spent years just traveling and working as a sommelier and in restaurants and distribution and all different aspects of the winemaking and, and hospitality industry. I used to work for Bob Betts, and he's a winemaker down here. He's a really cool as well. So, I was in Seattle, started this company, Adobe Wine Company, and almost simultaneously started the Orcas Project. Um, so Adobe Wine Company became my bottle shop where we had international wines, we had sake, we had cider, beer, all of the years of, of being a, a sommelier and wine professional lent itself all the travels to being able to put together a really fun, interesting collection of wines. And then the Orcas Project became what you might say as a house wine. This is really aromatic actually, you know, for straight Senso Rosé. It's got some yeah. great aromatic complexity. It's really pretty. It kind of just jumps out of the glass. The Orcas Project is basically a collaboration between myself and 10 different winemakers. So winemakers from all over Oregon and Washington, all people that I've known for some time, um, all very accomplished winemakers in their own rights. Each winemaker I, I inquired and reached out and asked if they would be willing to work with me on a, on a small project. Um, I was going to team each winemaker up with a different illustration um, drawn by an Orcas artist. For example, Morgan Lee represents the crab label. Um, we have two different lines. One is a little more experimental, varietals you may not have heard of before, uh, kind of more edgy, and then one is a little more classic, grapes that you're familiar with, winemaker styles. Uh, under this umbrella, we're more likely to feature obscure esoteric grapes, uh, experimental wine styles, funky pet nat, things like that. Whereas this tends to be a little bit more kind of classic and traditional. We are expanding. Uh, we're opening a second location of Dobe Wine Company and the Orcas Project Tasting Room in Finney Ridge and Greenwood. I've been looking for a space for a while, trying to find like some spot to get back to Seattle so that I can have a location here. Uh, we looked at several places and then this all of a sudden became available. It's an incredible building that's going up. Here we are entering in off 70th. We're gonna have retail on both sides, so this is kind of meant to feel like an old European courtyard. This building is, is gonna be uh, primarily stucco finish. This side is gonna be primarily brick and wood. Coming from a retail background, I recognize the value that retailers can provide to larger scale buildings. So at the very beginning, we really started looking for the right retail tenants and imagining what that mix could be. Cole was looking at a space nearby in the area and uh, Laura texted me and we came out and we talked for a few minutes and hit it off and then just continued the conversation after that. Trying to figure out if we're gonna do a mural or something here, sort of just like a drink me or something fun, you know? Um, as of right now, the space is pretty like almost austere. And I think that we're gonna wanna add something on this side too, especially if we don't have that cork okay. situation. It's a large project. It continues to expand, and, and I think we just get carried away. It's like, oh, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. And so before you know it, we have 30 different wines and 10 winemakers. Here we come, back to Seattle.